Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about the unhealthy eating I know many of you are worried about the eating, the unhealthy eating because uh, when we come from restriction then normally in the past we didn't restrict the healthy foods but we restricted the bad foods and even if now you start to recover and you want to let go of the restriction of course you're gonna crave the things you restricted and most often they are the yeah they're like the unhealthy foods or processed food or even junk food and understandably you are worried about the nutrition and is your body getting enough nutrition in recovery is it doing any damage and today i actually want to give you five reasons how to not worry about the unhealthy eating in recovery <music> So the first reason is that you need to eat whatever you want for the mental recovery. You can't recover when you still have the diet mindset. You can't recover when you still think that some foods are good foods and you force yourself to eat them and some foods are bad foods and you try to restrict them or every time you eat them feel guilty. So for the mental recovery to let go of the eating disorder fully and the diet mindset, the restrictive mindset, you need to eat what you want and over time all of the negative emotions uh, that come up right now when you eat those foods will start to go away and this is how I healed my orthorexia mindset and the second reason is that you need calories and in recovery when we come from any restrictive eating disorder maybe we have done dieting, purging, over exercising then the basic need of your body is for calories and I can also read from my book so this is my book and I can read uh, what I quote here and this quote is from the book uh, Your Natural Diet Alive Raw Foods and this book says that about 90% of your body's nutrient need is for calories and in recovery especially your body needs enough calories and if you know about the Minnesota starvation experiment I can link it down below as well like those men were uh, starved in 1500 calories and then uh, when they started to recover and refeed then those men who got the least amount of calories didn't show almost any improvement in their recovery but those group of men who got the most calories showed the quickest improvement in their recovery four to five percent of your body's needs is for amino acids 3% is for minerals, 1-2% to 2 is for fatty acids and only 1 freaking percent is for vitamins. And also know that the calories, what you eat in, in your recovery, it doesn't go only to the fat storage. No, there is like so many damage what you have done during the restriction to your body. For example, you have shrinked organs, so you need to restore your organs. Maybe some have lost bone mass, you need to restore your bone mass. Maybe you have lost muscle mass because of the restriction and dieting. So calories actually help you to build healthy muscle mass without any exercise needed. And also you have to increase your uh, metabolism and you have to recover your hormones. And the mental recovery can't even start to happen if your brain is malnourished. And the third reason is that processed food can actually digest so much better in recovery. And if you eat uh, only uh, like low calorie fruits and vegetables, high in water content, high in fiber, then it can be harder to digest. And in recovery, you can already have so many digestive issues just because you are recovering. But only allowing you to eat or get your main calories from fruits and vegetables it will be so harder to digest and get the calories from. So eating actually processed food can be easier to digest and recover from because yeah, it's a quick source of calories. And if you eat more processed food, you need um, less volume to get enough calories as well compared to eating like a big salad. 
and you need to eat like such a huge amount of salad to be full and satisfied and if you already have recovery bloating then can you imagine how much this like low calorie high fiber food can make you even more bloated so eat processed food and it can be so much easier for your body and for your digestion and the fourth reason is to end your cravings and as i come from orthorexia i also thought that oh like if i allow myself to have whatever i want in recovery i'm only gonna end up eating the junk food like the rest of my life but now i know this is not true and if you finally let go of all of your restrictions and you eat exactly what you want you eat what you crave and this can heal all of the food obsession and the desire to binge only on this like junk food and you will start to naturally want to eat more healthy food as well and all the food loses its power over you so to recover from any excessive cravings uh, binges on junk food binges on ice cream and cake and all the things you have restricted basically to recover from this and be back to balance you need to start eating whatever you want whenever you want and however much you want and the fifth reason is that this period of recovery is only temporary like letting go of all of your restriction when you have the extreme hunger when you have the massive cravings of eating maybe the unhealthy foods this is only for the recovery period and all of this will help you to recover your normal hunger cues normal cravings and uh, yeah normal eating basically and intuitive eating so always remember if you worry about the nutrition then know that this kind of eating now, uh, when you have so many cravings and extreme hunger, this is only for the recovery period. But after that, you're gonna have normal cravings, you're gonna eat all kinds of foods, and your eating in general will be more imbalanced. So it's not gonna last for the rest of your life. But it's only a recovery phase and with this video i'm not saying to exclude any healthy foods or whole foods or fruits and vegetables from your diet i'm not saying this at all but i'm just saying like don't focus on getting your like the most calories from them and actually eating more processed food high calorie foods can be better for you and uh, with the processed food i don't only mean uh, the junk food and the processed food are even normal everyday foods for example things like bread and pasta and even white rice yeah i don't only mean the junk food even though this is okay to eat as well and uh, yeah you can still eat the fruits and vegetables and everything but i'm just telling you to let go of the rules let go of the bad foods mindset and actually listen to your body for once and give your body what it needs so yeah i hope this video helped you to let go of any worry about the nutrition or healthy eating or unhealthy eating and please subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna put up more videos very very soon and please like this video if you find it helpful and thank you so much for watching and see you next time <music>